Hello and welcome again. The third lecture on basics of queuing theory or queuing models. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss in brief something about expected or average or mean utilization rate as well as idle rate as well as mean idle time. <clears throat> Now, utilization rate is also known as traffic intensity or clearing ratio. What exactly is the utilization ratio? It is lambda divided by mu. So, simply it is the ratio of lambda means average arrival rate to the mu means the average service rate. In other words, we can also say that the ratio of lambda to mu shows the capacity utilization. That means how much proportion of the installed capacity is actually utilized under the given situation. Uh, if we remind the previous two lectures or examples in the previous two lectures, lambda, the average arrival rate was 12 and mu, the average service rate was 15. So 12 divided by 15 comes to 0.8 or if we convert into percentage it is 80 percent. That means we can say that in our previous two examples the utilization rate comes to 0.8 or 80 percent. That means 80 percent of the installed capacity of the server is actually utilized. This is the interpretation of this ratio. Um, now there are naturally there are a few possibilities of uh, different values of lambda as well as mu. The first possibility is lambda is greater than mu. What actually happens? In our example lambda was 12 and mu was 15. Now let us interchange them. Lambda the arrival rate is 15 and service rate is 12. That means after each hour there will be three unsound customers in the queue. Because within one hour, 15 has arrived and only 12 have been served. So, 3 unserved. At the end of the second hour, there will be 6 unserved. At the end of the third hour, there will be 9 unserved. At the end of the fourth hour, there will be 12 unserved. And 15, 18, 21, 24 and so on infinitely. What can happen? There will be an infinite queue. No end of queue. Every hour, three unserved customers are added to the queue of the unserved customers. Service facility remains always busy. In our example, the cashier is always busy in serving the customer against him. And there are so many customers behind that particular customer who is presently being served. Ultimately, the service system will eventually fail. Now, second possibility is ideal. Mu and lambda are equal. Lambda equals to mu, mu equals to lambda. 100% capacity utilization. That is ideal situation. Mostly, we cannot see this. What happens? Customer comes and customer is served. No queue will be there. Theoretically, there will be no queue and server will always be busy. One customer comes, 4 minutes, at every 4 minute one customer comes, cashier takes 4 minutes to serve one customer. So as and when he completes to serve the customer against him, the another customer arrived and so on. So he will be always busy. And the third possibility is lambda less than mu, that is arrival rate or average arrival rate is less than the average service rate. This is the most realistic situation. Almost all the service counters work on the basis of this situation or say uh, they are say installed assuming this kind of situation, the most realistic. And what is the effect? The utilization rate or traffic intensity or clearing ratio or capacity utilization, whatever we say, remains less than 1 or less than 100 percent. So now there is another possibility. If it is less than 100 percent, what is the difference? 
1 minus utilization ratio or utilization rate that shows the proportion of time the service facility will be idle. Again, let us take our example. 12 customers arrive in one hour and we are capable to serve 15 customers. So 12 against 15, 0.8. 1 minus 0 0.8, 0 0.2. That means 0 0.2 is the idle ratio. Or 20% of installed capacity remains idle in our example. What exactly happens? To serve one customer, we need only 4 minutes. Okay? Okay. 12 customers arrive because customers arrive there every 5 minutes. Refer the first lecture of basics. So, what happens in one hour? The cashier or the server is actually busy for 12 into 4, 48 minutes. That means, in between for 12 minutes, he or she will be idle. We don't mean that this 12 minute comes exactly in the last session of one hour or exactly middle or exactly opening, uh, beginning. No. In between somewhere, <coughs> he or she will be idle for few moments or few minutes. Its total will be 12 minutes at the end of one hour. This is just an average. Exactly this cannot happen at the end of every hour. But this is the long term average of calculations. So now we can say that the idle rate is 1 minus utilization rate or capacity ratio or whatever name you use. On the basis of this, we already calculated a moment before the idle time. Idle ratio into T. In our example, it was 60 minutes or 1 hour. That shows the mean or average or expected idle time. That was 12 minutes in our small examples we discussed earlier. So, in three lectures relating to basics of queuing theory, we discussed four major points. One was average arrival rate, lambda. Another was average service rate. On the basis of these two, utilization rate or clearing ratio or traffic intensity or capacity utilization, whatever we call it. Then idle rate and idle time. That's it. Thank you very much.